betrayal, dark magic, and obsession. Somebody could have some kind of uh, obsession with dark magic. You could be feeling betrayed. Some of you guys, somebody knows that they messed everything up. This could be somebody that messed your life up using dark magic that you're just now discovering or you're finding out about. Trapped or reversed. Somebody's trying to, they was using dark magic to have you feeling trapped, stuck, tied down, captive, and you've been healing. They're trying to find out like how they can keep you being trapped. They see you getting out of a trap. They see you getting unstuck. They're trying to find out what kind of magic they need to do to keep you stuck. They just got a sick obsession with this dark magic with something with you being trapped. You're healing, you're releasing, you're purifying, cleansing. They are looking at you like angels are watching over you. You're supported, you're protected, you're loved, encouraged. Law of attraction reversed. Yeah, this is dark magic. They can be trying to get you to quit on something. Quit, obsession, depression, sloppy. This is somebody, communication reverse. This may be somebody you're not really communicating with anymore. You're not really talking to them or you're distant. They want to talk to you. This could be somebody that likes to gossip all the time. I feel like you're withholding communication from them. You're spending time in solitude. Somebody may be trying to do something risky or someone's going to take a risk. Goddess of change reversed. They don't want you to change or they don't want something to change. They feel like they need to keep this magic over you at all costs. This could be somebody, yeah, this could be somebody paying for um, spending a lot, a lot of money on magic. I'm also seeing somebody like trying to kiss like a spiritualist's butt. Like they're trying to bribe, they're going as far as like trying to bribe spiritualists, trying to pay them a lot of money to like do work over you to keep you stuck. Like it's that desperate. You're feeling betrayed. Walking away in anxiety. Yeah, they know that you're walking away. That's why they got anxiety. This person is willing to pay a lot of money for some spell work to keep you trapped. Travel, somebody's about to travel. Travel. They're in fragmented energy right now. Fragmented energy travel. It's like something's off with them. They're in bad health, feeling unbalanced. They'd be feeling sick, unstable, going through an emotional storm because you're you're leaving, looks like. Somebody could be getting ready to receive something, receive 
open-minded, abundant, ready. It is your time to receive. And they're in fear. Fear, darkness, hesitation, insecurity. This person's been doing dark magic over you so that you're scared to leave. Know that you are protected now. They've been confusing somebody's mind, so they've been confusing your mind so that you don't want to leave or move on. You could be you could be involved with um, a healer, or you're involved with a spiritualist that's helping you with some kind of white magic or to help you cleanse or something like that. Two of Candles, Temperance Reversed. Yeah, this person is extremely stressed. They they either do this like on an ongoing basis, on a regular basis, or they're working with somebody. They possibly been working with a dark spiritualist for a long time to do dark magic over you, or some kind of binding or hex work. Four of Candles Reversed. They know you're getting, you're possibly getting ready to break up with them, separate, divorce, or move up out of a home. Ace of Needles, Knight of Needles reversed, and the Sun. Okay, you either are finding out about some kind of lies, manipulation, deception, or you're about to. You're about to find out some truth or some more truth. Three of swords, six of candles reverse. Yeah, it's not working. The magic that they're doing over you to keep you trapped ain't working. It's failing. They could be angry because they spent so much money. Somebody could have spent like several thousands. That's what I'm seeing. Somebody spent like thousands upon thousands of dollars trying to keep you trapped. They feel like you're you're holding back more. You're distancing yourself more. You're becoming more cold, distant. You're withholding more. You're, you're more quiet. You're not talking as much. It's like making it worse. The dark magic is actually making it worse or something. They feel like you're not supposed to be healing. Like, what's going on? You're not supposed to be healing. You're not supposed to be, you're not supposed to be releasing me. That's how they're looking at it. They feel like you're quitting on them or something. And then... And then, like, they go to a spiritualist to pay for more work. Yeah, it's not, it's not working. They're trying to keep you stuck. Hanged man reversed. Somebody's been having you stuck for a long time. Page of Cups reversed. High Priestess reversed. They're upset. This, the spiritualist could be doing some kind of, um, they could be doing some kind of work, like something with a bottle. They could be putting in some kind of ingredients, like in a bottle or something like that. Yeah. They're doing something with your emotions or something. It just feels like it's binding magic. They're heartbroken because you're about to leave or something. King of Potions reverse, Page of Presence reverse. Okay, yeah, this person is sad, depressed, and got an obsession with dark magic or paying for dark magic. This person could be growing, they could be going broke trying to pay for magic over you. The lovers, top of the deck, death. Okay, you could be changing partners or choosing some other path or choosing to end something out. There may be another person, another lover, another soulmate. 
there's an ending either way. It's going to be a Gemini or a Scorpio. You may have somebody else on the side or something or traveling towards somebody else or some of you guys that they're stressed out about. If you are, Spirit's telling me they're trying to get you off. They're trying to get you off of that other person. They're trying to get you to stop being attracted to the other person or something. Spirit says somebody spent over $2,000 on some kind of spell work. Okay, this could be somebody that was in, in some kind of infidelity. Fidelity reversed. Something with money. Yeah, they spent a lot of money. Somebody's under judgment, judge, sadness. This could be something legal too. Something with the law or judge. I feel like this person's under judgment. They'll get me exposed. They're sad because you are either finding out about the magic or you're realizing. There may be a third party. There may be cheating or something like that. They're wondering, like, why are you talking to them less? They're unstable right now. They're not okay. There's no harmony. They can't accept something. They could be feeling lonely. Loneliness, calm, reverse. They can't keep calm. And they're unable to stop something. Stop, reverse. Somebody may be on a break. There could be some kind of stagnations, pause. They can't stop something. They're disappointed. Like all this money is just going down the drain, basically. This could be someone unemployed. Bars, nightclubs. Somebody's unfit to be a parent. Enemies lurking on your energy. I wish I could fix things between us. Somebody's embarrassed and ashamed. Somebody's secretly competing. They may be competing with another lover. Shaking off the BS. Someone's got a drinking problem. Somebody has serious family issues they need to clear. like they're sad because you see the truth somebody could be getting ready to close down a, a they could be getting ready to close down or shut down a joint bank, bank account clear the accounts out attorney or lawyer you could be getting ready to separate from this person or divorce they are stressing out trying to keep up with you and someone's bored with them Split the deck, I see him break up separation. It's it's this um this spell work that they're paying for some dark magic is getting this person more and more unstable. It's got them in the Wheel of Fortune reverse, actually, Knight of Swords. It's 
they could be dealing with misfortune, bad karma. They're not seeing the results that they want. They could be getting mad at the spiritualists and stuff, blaming it on the spiritualist or some dark worker that they're paying. They could be paying a witch or a wizard or something like that. The chariot, six of, oh, six of pentacles reversed. They could be trying to get some, um, they could be trying to do something to a spiritualist or, or kiss their butt, like to get free work or something. The spiritualist doesn't want to work with them no more. They see you moving forward to the chariot. The spiritualists don't want to work with them no more because, like, they're getting mad at the spiritualists and stuff. Wow, devil, ace of swords. Yeah, it's clarity. They're trying to keep you bound to them, tied to them, bound, binded to them. The spiritualist is looking at it like it ain't worth the money and stuff. <laughs> Magician, yeah. The spiritualist is like, it's not, it's not gonna work. Hanged man reverse, three pentacles reverse. They don't wanna work with them no more. The spiritualist don't wanna work with this person no more that you're tied to, that you're about to leave. Or they don't want to do business with them. They don't want to do service for them. They, the spiritualist is giving up on them or something. 